Hi everyone, here's another example to help you with today's math lesson. We have similar questions to yesterday, three digits divided by one digit, but this time there might be remainders involved. Okay, so right from the start, we can see we have 100 and we need to divide it by four, which we can't do because we've only got 100. We can't put them into groups of four if we haven't got four to begin with. So we have to exchange that 100 into our tens column and we can draw ourselves 10 more counters here that we've just exchanged. Okay, so we've moved them from our hundreds column into our tens. You can write a zero on here to show that you've done that if you want to, just to get used to putting a zero on top. But when it's in this column, we won't need it and I'll show you why at the end, but you can still do it just to get used to putting the zero on top. Then we say 13 divided by four now. Let's put them into groups of four. One group, two groups, three groups with one left over. So we were able to make three. So 13 divided by four is three but we have a remainder of one. So don't forget to exchange that one for 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have 18 divided by four. Let's put those into groups of four. We've got one two, three, four, and we've got two left over, which we can't make another full group of four. So the amount of full groups we had was four. And this time we have to leave these two as a remainder. So our answer was 34 the remainder 2 and you can see why we didn't need to put that 0 here when it's on the first column because when we write 34 you don't need to put a 0 before it. Hope that helps.